In this video, I will show an ultimate side loading guide, prepared by this amazing developer, named, Why So Furious? Which offers advantages like, it's absolutely free, does not require any computer, no three app limits, on device signing, no privacy concern, no revokes, or blacklist ever. It uses a special configuration profile to achieve all this. Launch the browser and visit this website. Link will be in description. This guide is from the developer, Why So Furious? Here you will find only three option, guide, downloads, and support. So tap on guide. I would also suggest to open the link in a new tab for convenience. Here the developer has explained only four steps for a successful sideloading process without revokes. The first step is to install the DNS configuration. Tap on this download hyperlink, highlighted in blue. Next tap on all downloads. Now tap on configuration profile, and finally tap on why so furious, configuration profile, to download the DNS profile for blocking revokes, or blacklist. Now tap on allow, when you get this pop-up. Now head over to the settings app, and navigate to general. And then to VPN, and device management, as shown on the video. Now simply install the profile. The DNS will be enabled automatically. Second step involves installing eSign app. On the side loading guide website, tap on downloads and tap on eSign option. Here you will find several certificates. You have to try each certificate one by one to see which one works for you. If none of the certificates works, do not worry. This guide have the solution. So keep watching till the end. Let's try the first link. Tap on the first link, tap on open. And finally tap on install when you get this pop up. As you can see, the process has started, and the eSign app is successfully installed. Now, launch the Settings app and navigate to VPN and Device Management. And trust the certificate. Please keep in mind, that certificate which works in my device, may not work in your device, and vice versa. The eSign app is also working properly. The third step is to set up eSign app. On the eSign app, navigate to the Settings option. Here, we have to first register our UDID code. Just tap on Get Device UDID. Just tap on Allow to download the profile. Next, launch the Settings app and navigate to General and to VPN and Device Management. Just tap on the profile and install the configuration. Automatically, the eSign will fetch your UDID code as show. Once the UDID code is captured, it's time to import certificates to eSign. Go back to the website and go to the download section of the website. Just tap on certificates option and then tap on eSign certificates and download the eSign certificate zip file as shown. Now launch the files app and locate the eSign certificates zip file. As you can see, this is the zip file we downloaded just now. Just tap on it to extract the file. Now inside the extracted folder, there are several certificates, but you must locate only that certificate, by its name, which worked for you, when installing the Azine app. For me it's this certificate, as shown. Let's go back to the eSign app, and to the settings option. Tap on import resource. And now simply locate that certificate, which worked for you. Tap on import. And once successfully imported, the fourth and last step is to use eSign to sideload apps. Just navigate to the file section of eSign app. Tap on this three horizontal dot. Select import from the option. Now just select any IPA file you wish to sign and sideload using eSign. Let's sideload Kawabunga app. Just tap on import option. And once imported, navigate to the app section as shown. And here you will find the imported app. Just tap on it and select Signature. Again tap on Signature option to sign the IPA file. Once you get this message, which says signed, packed successfully, just tap on Install option. You will get this pop-up. So just tap on Install to start the sideloading process. As you can see, the Koabunga app is sideloaded successfully without any error. But wait! Please take a note of these key points, if you never want to face any revokes, or blacklists ever, you can pause the video, and go through every points. If you want any doubts, just comment down below. What if none of the certificates worked for you?
So, as per the guide by the developer, you can solve it using two methods. You can first backup your device, and then reset it. Finally restore the backup. If first method do not work, then reset the device to default settings, without backups. If you like the video, please smash the like button, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to check the Feather app, watch my next video.